Gordon Strachan's men as they faced St Mirren and coasted to a comfortable victory ahead of the international break. St Mirren made three changes following their defeat by East Fife in the CIS Insurance Cup in midweek. Out went Billy Mehmet, Richard Britton and Alec Burke and in came Alan Reid, Gary Brady and Stuart Keane. Celtic manager Gordon Strachan also made three changes. Snow, Hartley and Riordan started in place of Magidi, Nakamura and Donati. All on the bench. The referee at Love Street, Kenny Clark. After the high of Wednesday night, qualification for the group stage of the Champions League. It is back to SPL business for Celtic. Here at Love Street. Twenty minutes played, nobody's had a shot yet. Scott Brown trying to change that. A rather low-key start at Love Street after the excitement of Wednesday. Perhaps to be expected. Scott McDonald got away from Mason. Um, Scott Brown. Celtic have the lead, Scott Brown scores, and that could be ominous for St Mirren. And Scott McDonald does well, he skips inside, he gets a little bit of luck with the pass, but from there, Scott Brown is just not going to miss. Again, it's McDonald who's dropped deep to get into possession, and again, it's Scott Brown who pops up in the box, and look how composed and calm he is, just toe pokes it past Smith. Scott Brown, the goal scorer. Paul Well. Long towards Scott McDonald. Oh, and he's going to turn that in. What a terrific goal. He didn't look the favourite to get there, Scott McDonald. But he got there and he follows his Champions League goal with an SPL goal for Celtic. Well, it's work rate, it's enthusiasm. And in the end, it's sheer quality, and this is why he will score up to 20 goals a season for Celtic. He chases everything down. It's a nightmare for defenders. Yeah, he looks second best at that point, but he sticks his toe in, and he knows exactly where the goal is. You can see here, he's made the run. He's now thinking, all I've got to do is get on the end, on the end of it, and he does. Corcoran, he's having a go. Oh, Wilson's clearance nearly went straight to the feet of Stuart King. Hugh Murray sends it back in. That's away that time by Caldwell. Brown. McDonald. Run into Potter. Gary Brady now for Miranda. Alan Reid outside of him. Miranda. Corcoran, great chance, and he chested it down. And that made it easier for Boric. <laughs> well, what is he thinking about here? It looks like he's defending. He really does. McDonald. That was the last kick of the first half, so they haven't really had to shift through the gears at Love Street. A slow start from them, but two goals in three minutes from the two Scots, Brown and McDonald, put them in the driving seat. St Mirren will need a very special performance in this second half to worry the champions, who are coasting. and whips it in and Gary Mason is the head that it came off Derek Ryder delivers and Venegor of Hesselink scores Celtic 
are cruising as easy as 1-2-3-0. Well, I tell you, he hasn't looked sharp for this match so far, but he gets in amongst three St Mirren players, and that is the danger you can see. They're trying to pull him back. It's a timing of his run. He meets the front post, he meets the ball. There's no chance for Smith and goal. So Mirren not doing much with that. Vinegar of Hesseling. McDonald keeps the move going. Vinegar of Hesseling. It's Derek Ryder. choice that ended up the right choice I expect him to hit this from here he tries to play the little dink in for Hartley I think it is coming across and he gets lucky fed by Jan Fenegroff Hesslink it's a neat little ball in a little bit too clever but Miranda just gets that touch and Smith wrong footed well I hate to beat the drum but this is one of the clearest examples I've seen in a long time of one team being Far better than another in the SPL. As you see at the moment, there's just nothing you can see that St. Mirren can do. Corcoran, Mimit! Well, that was a chance. Well, from Gus McPherson's point of view, I should say that a lot more often. <laughs> it's the first time they actually get in behind. That's a decent ball in. Wilson for Brown. Nonchalantly returns it to Wilson. And now Zaraski. Ryden waiting in the middle, so to Killen, but Heining sends it behind to the corner. Yeah, again, good play in midfield from Scott Brown. Released Wilson. Zaraski getting down the outside, tries to cross it in for Ryden and Killen, who are waiting. Oh, they came across for a short corner. Scott Brown pops it straight in there. McManus. Derek Ryder with a chance to score. He doesn't, but McManus does come in. Goal number five for Celtic. This time from the captain, although it could easily have been from Ryder. Well, at least it's ragged from St Mirren. Look how much space Ryden's afforded here to have two goes at it. It falls to McManus. There's no one anywhere near him either. And he hasn't broken sweat defensively this afternoon, McManus. So maybe he thought, I'll pop up in the box and slot on away. Virgil. And Zanton. Brady. sides now, that was some strike from Miranda, it's not going to make much of a difference, but it was sweet. But he has made a difference, I feel, on the left-hand side, if he can get the ball in these areas, he looked bright in the first half, and that's a smart finish. He comes inside, loses Brown, has a goal with his right foot, it's clean, 